All right, so finally done with plumbing the GT40 EFI direct port system under the intake. I'm just gonna do this nice and slow so anybody who decides that they might wanna try this can kinda get an idea of the port layout and the way I did this distribution block not saying that this is the best way to do it from just doing it myself there's things I would have done differently the next time for sure that would have made my line routing a lot less complex so I try to keep the line routing to a certain height that didn't um, dip into the lifter valley too much And that was not easy. So these two fittings here, I'm gonna shorten because I don't want them protruding so much, but I needed to get long bulkhead fittings to be able to go through the thickness of the back of the intake here so I can have enough space to get these fittings on. Otherwise I would never be able to get any fittings onto these things. And then these two have to run to the ports on the distribution block there and there. So anyway, that's an overview of it. Hopefully that helps someone out if they're trying to do a similar thing. EFI Ford intakes especially are not easy to plumb for under the intake kits because none of the cylinders are exactly symmetrical to each other. And then you've got all these castings here for the water jackets and ports. And then here you've got all the stuff that had to do with PCV and EGR and um, it had a baffle over it. So all that had to be milled down. So all in all, it's done for now. I still have to plumb the inlet, inlet fuel and nitrous and uh, test fit it on the motor a couple of times. It fits pretty well, so we'll see how it does.